You might remember this video from 2016 of a man trying to rescue a dog from a hot car in Grand Bend. As you can see, throwing the rock is not only dangerous, it's not incredibly effective, although it eventually gets the job done. But if you do find yourself having to perform a rescue, Oakville firefighter Chad Roberts gives us some safe and effective ways to do so. One of the first things you want to try to use is your window punch. Um, with the window punch, it's very simple to use. It's as simple as just finding a small spot in the corner of a window and punching it, this tool right into the window. Now, we're going to talk about it about not going in too far into the vehicle. It's a very it's a small spring load, so it, we don't want you pushing your hand right into the, into the window. That way you're going to cut yourself or hurt yourself. For a lot of people, their first instinct might be to grab something that's around them, like a rock and try to throw it through the window. Um, it's not a great option, not the safest option for yourself, um, for the patient inside the vehicle, for the, the pet, uh, as well as it's not nearly as effective as breaking the window. And for a lot of people that don't have a window punch on them, um, we're gonna talk about some things that you have possibly in your vehicle, like a tire iron. Same thing, we're gonna find a small spot in the corner of the window, and we're gonna swing the tire iron from a safe distance and then use the tire iron itself to clear the glass away before opening up the doors. So anytime that uh, we come across a vehicle where we've got a pet or a child or anyone that's in distress inside a vehicle in extreme temperatures, our big thing is gonna be to dial 911 first, get the help there that needs to be there as soon as possible. Then if we do need to break a window, let's use one of the two things that we talked about today, possible window punch or using a tire iron in a safe manner to get everyone out of the vehicle in a safe way.